yay, the middle mouse button now works, so I can rotate the stuff. That's good. We'll put it back where we found it. Don't fall off. Thank you. Okay, so, new mouse works. Let's head over to this guy here. So, gaming the system, we bought a field that had just been ploughed by the previous owner. Now, just been ploughed means there is no weeds on that field. There will never be weeds on the field until we harvest. So, here's the problem. Um, let's bring up precision farming. We have a score of 86. Our weed control is the middle panel. And if we bounce up to here and look at this field here, which is the one we bought, the middle panel is at halfway. And that basically means that you haven't done anything with weeds. But because it was ploughed, you never have to do anything with weeds. So that's kind of a problem. What's the problem with this field, by the way? This field, the bottom one and the top one. Uh, tillage, yeah, how it was planted. And the top one is nitrogen. So the top one will fix, as soon as we harvest this, that will fix to maximum. It's zero at the moment. The second one down is pH. That may fix. I can't remember if I, p I limed this field or not. This field's fine. That field's been harvested by cows. So this field is always going to be a problem. This one, again, nitrogen and lime will fix when we harvest. This one, the nitrogen and lime will fix when we harvest. We don't have the weed control done. And then everything else is in the 90s and very, very happy. So, to gain the system, what we are going to do is we're going to spray for weeds on this field. If I go here, and we look at weeds, there is none. This field needs rolling. I shoot myself because I should have rolled this field and I didn't. But we're going to get in this thing, we're going to load it up with herbicide. Um, when I can figure out which tank the herbicide's in. Liquid fertilizer, herbicide 500, so not a lot. Back this out. I'll do it the gentle way. Well, uh, and because we've got the spot and spray sensors on this um, sprayer. It will only apply spray where there's uh, where there's weeds, and as I said, no weeds on this field. Everybody's got narrow tires, so we're good to drive. We'll expand that out. And we'll turn it on. And we'll turn it off. And by, by magic, Um, the nitrogen and lime are still bad, but oh, we just fixed all of the weeds just by doing that. Now, I believe the reason that they have the penalty for not doing weeds is by game mechanic, the only way you can do that is to plow and not have any weeds generated by the game because you plowed. So not creating weeds for you to kill means that um, there is a penalty for ploughing but um, you can game the system by just 
driving onto a field with a turned on sprayer and no uh, with weed sensors and look we just fixed it so lime as I was saying lime and uh, Uh, the other stuff, lime and uh, nitrogen don't affect the environmental score until harvest. So you must make sure that your pH and nitrogen levels are perfect before you harvest. So technically this is the last month we can do it. I don't think I've got a problem though. We'll park that in there. Drop that. Okay, I need to go and examine the field, so we'll do that in this tractor. We've got three fields here. That field to our left looks nice. Sunflowers maybe? I don't know. Anyway. So this field has perfect nitrogen and pH. Actually it has negligible. Okay, this field definitely needs lime. It's gonna have a bad score because of the lime level or the pH. But this field we bought, again, beginning of this year, after the crop had been planted. So our choice, we, we kind of have a choice here. I, I've got 192,000 pounds. I could go out and buy a couple of fields, but the um, only thing I can fix on them is weeds and nitrogen. perfect consequently you kind of don't want if you buy okay if you buy a field before harvest it's gonna wreck your environmental score so you're gonna take a loss of income on the other fields that you have um, But, bonus, you get the income of the crop that's on the field, even if you don't get the environmental bonus from it. So it's a little bit of a do I don't I type of thing. That's all perfect. So you'll see for these fields that we're looking at, when we harvest them, that's going to push our environmental score up over 95. All other things being equal. <coughs> so I could replace this tractor with a newer one. The problem is, is, if I replace this tractor, I want probably something with a little bit higher horsepower for carting and another one with a little bit lower horsepower for spraying and fertilizing and stuff. Not too much less because we really don't have, even with the, um, the thing that we have, um, the spreader. We still need something close to 200 horsepower to work that. Okay, and here we are for the last two fields. So this should be perfect, and this should be perfect. What is this? Barley. Okay. So, all the fields are looking good as far as nitrogen and um, 
the other thing um, pH is concerned except that one field that we bought with crop in it and even then I mean it wasn't looking good for nitrogen or pH but with a crop in it you can go out turn on the crop sensors and spray the crop and it will top off the nitrogen requirements to perfect so that's not at issue the issue is is the pH level never going to fix that if there's a realistically you're never going to fix that if there's a crop in there obviously if you haven't planted anything it's not an issue so that other field that we now have soybeans in straight across from the arable farm um, all we have going on there is it was plowed so we went out we lined it I think I spread uh, manure on it and then we planted it with soybeans. Now I didn't spread manure on it because soybeans don't require nitrogen. So soybeans always have perfect nitrogen levels. Anyway, I think everything what we need to do is done. So I can put this away probably put it in the wrong spot doesn't matter turn that off we will jump out oh. okay it's nine o'clock there is nothing new here I think We can get a day of rest in before harvest. I should have checked the state of the harvester, but we're fine. Let's just go with what we're looking at. So I said the barley might be ready. Okay, cool leasing costs. We're up to a thousand on leasing costs. Um, don't want that screen. Want that screen. No, don't want that screen. Want that screen. Okay, we have that field of stuff. Canola. Hmm, something. Canola. Barley. Okay. There are a lot of fields out there ready to harvest. I think, actually, that's all the fields to harvest except the two soybean fields. I think we do 58 and 61. And then we can transfer all the kit over here for the next thing. So I actually want the John Deere over here. Um, I suppose we should check store sales. We have... Oh, that's a... That's a thing. Big slurry tank. Attacher. And... A box on wheels that lifts things. That we could add GPS to because yeah <laughs> no okay nothing exciting in the store sale let us bring this over um, I didn't check the cows feed level the cows feed level is going to be very concerning over the next few days and I might need to buy some whole crop silage from, well, maybe not. Okay, we'll do a check on cow food levels. I might just need that, that field that is ready to mow. Um, I might need to uh, get the mowers attached, cut condition grass and dump that into the cow shed immediately. At least this time of year, there's always emergency food for the cows. Oh, 
Okay, this I will park here. Probably shouldn't, but I will. And the only vehicle I have here that's not the harvester is this one. think you can attach this on the front. Oh yes. Oh. Now the reason I attached it at this end is so Closer to the hitch. And that might make it easier to get out. I don't think it is how it um, actually yeah, let's drive forward. Um, Okay, push that away from the frame. So, uh, oh, there you go. It's actually, it's not easier to pull it out, I'm finding, but it is easier to maneuver it once you're um, where you want to be. And the main issue I have here is obviously getting this lined up so I can attach it to the harvester. Pull this back here. I should. <sighs> I want it to turn right, so if I turn the wheels that way, there we go. mixing up forwards and backwards. If I got a skid steer um, tow hitch to do this with, I would also have an issue with uh, forward and backwards being the way they are. Okay, we are good. I'm going to leave that running. Go and find the harvester, which might be there. Didn't put the uh, milk tank away. Is this a wheat harvest or a barley? It looks like. I want to say it looks like wheat, but who knows? Okay. So, to unfold it while we climb through the hedge and back this out of the way. Okay, so, um, frankly, I'm not into swathing this. I don't think we have a straw issue, so, um, enable straw swath, there we go. As I said, this is one of the confusing things. Turn that off for a minute. Oh. 
Oh, this is oats. Okay, we are harvesting this entire field. Yield is not brilliant. Again, crap lime levels. So, it is what it is. But this field is not going to... I mean, it's a good-sized field, so we'll get a fair yield from it. Actually, that's not bad. We've got some green in the yield. So I think like we did last, or like we've done before, I'm not going to go round... I'm going to do three headlands at this end, three headlands at the other end, and we'll then run the rows across the middle. And this is going to take a time. Um, I suppose one option I do have is... I could cart with the Deutz. We're not going very far, so I don't have to worry too much about the speed at which I can haul the trailer. And I could then go and hitch up the mowers on the John Deere. Then we'll go and make some uh, grazing stock for the cows um that cows still have under twenty five thousand we're okay with that um, okay not so not so much of an issue then <coughs> I think what I can do with the silage then is we'll just We'll mow it, we'll bale it. I can do that with the Massey. Uh, that might be a thing for us to do while we get a worker to harvest the grain. What's that field on our left? Is that canola? is barley okay so that field I'm gonna do last here we're down to 186,000 money so we have lost a little overnight we'll make it up when when things happen. Um, what things? We will make it up when uh, we sell the produce, the perishables, so tomatoes and butter, bread. So that's not too much of a problem. And uh, yeah, I'm not worried about how much money we have right now. Although I am interested in how much land can I afford and or what nice toys we could add to the farm. Okay, gonna run this along this end. And we'll do three headlands on the other end. How's the tank? 54%. This I'm not sure I'm not gonna be able to get the three headlands at the other end without emptying. Well, that's fine. Oh that 
that's the other question. Because our grassland was ready for cut last month, um, that might mean that field 53, I think it is, is ready for another grass contract. Mm. So we might be doing a ton of grass today as well. That's okay. Especially for, for our field, if we're creating grass silage out of it, I want it cut on July 1 so that it's finished fermenting on August 1. Oh, Whitehawk, sorry. Um, and oh. um, yeah, good morning, guys. Um, so, to answer the question, do I have a lot of animals? I do not have a lot of animals, but I am using Maze Plus. So the animals I have are producing 10 times as much manure as they normally would. Plus the sheds will hold uh, a thousand cows. We only have approximately 120 maybe. So it's... It's not a lot of cows base game, but for Maze Plus, it's, it's working its way up to be a challenge, which is the whole plan. Unfortunately, something seems to have happened and they've stopped making milk, so I'm not sure that's because of the age of the cows I currently have, or if I broke something in the game save. Either way, um, we have a little bit of an issue with milk production at the moment. And, oh my goodness, we're nearly full. Um, dude, this is not good. There's enough room to get the trailer down here, so I think we're okay. We can go up to 8.6. If I'm really lucky, we'll make it to the end. I don't think we're going to be really lucky. Oh, field to our right's not ready yet. we can fit under there okay and that's the trailer I want so Lander Sun came out on the mod hub I had to be perfectly honest I haven't looked at a lot coming off the mod hub this week um, it's been a little bit hectic but uh, 